All right. Uh, so um, we are in our final meeting for the DevOps for Data Science Cohort 1. Uh, and we have Alex, the author here again, to talk about what we've seen and what has changed and what we would like to see. And um, I would say, you know, we, we have uh, definitely appreciated this book. We've, I think we've, if you've watched any of the recent videos, we always, we've been saying a lot of, man, just it's useful to have this vocabulary, you know? Um, and so, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna, like, I don't have anything super formal planned for this. One major thing I would like to hear is if you have any questions for us, Alex. Um, and while he's thinking about that, if anyone else has any questions for Alex, uh, chime in, I guess, okay, before that, I will say, so we had this uh, just a few week, well, like a month or so ago, we had a, our last meeting with Alex. Um, since then, the big, big, big changes have been in the labs, um, which have been exciting to see. I haven't gone back and like done them, but yeah. um, I really like what I have seen <laughs> of those changes. Um, I don't know. Do you have any questions for us uh, in that regard or anything else? <laughs> no, I mean, I, so after... Um... After our last meeting, I, I really went back and sort of retooled the lab so they actually like flow together into one project, um, as opposed to what was there before, which is sort of a bunch of disjoint little mini projects, right? And the the idea now is really that they sort of, <clears throat> you know, flow from start to finish. And if you do it all, you get sort of a, uh, you know, a completed completed environment at the end, as opposed to just a sort of a little bit here and a little bit there and, and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, if any of you have the chance to look back through and do them, I'd be really curious for any for any feedback. Um, but I, that, you know, that was definitely a change I made uh, as a result of our last conversation and and hearing you all, uh, hearing your feedback on it. So that was great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it was definitely interesting to see. I, I went back through and looked at uh, what had changed. And so I don't know if you've seen, there's a pull request because I saw there were some merge conflicts that snuck in in some of your recent changes. Um, let's see, you also uh, updated the appendices. There's the auth technologies are now uh, fleshed out and yeah. it's related to the labs, you have the map of labs and which is really nice because you can kind of see that progression of here's how they all fit together. Yeah, I, th that that auth appendix was actually one of the first things I wrote in this book. Um, <laughs> I wrote it mostly for like my team at at Posit, and it's <laughs> much more in the weeds than the book ended up being on on the like sort of IT side. And so the chapter on auth now is much more. It's like a little more high level and and conceptual. But I didn't want to get rid of that material I'd written because I think it's useful. Um, so, uh, I, I moved into the appendix there and then actually like wrote it out. So it was a little <laughs> less just sketchy. Um, yeah. Um, and at, at this point I'm, I'm actually, I'm doing another pass through the book, uh, not for content. Uh, I think the content is pretty much done, but trying to make the writing a little more pleasant to read <laughs> and, and make the ideas flow a little more naturally than they, they did in the, in the earlier draft. So. Uh, you know, hopefully future readers will find it, uh, you know, but the, the, hopefully the content will still be useful, but the, the uh, <laughs> ease of reading will be higher. <laughs> but uh, I can completely understand the, you know, you want to get everything out, get the exactly. material and then, yeah, get through, go through again for um, ease of reading. So that's great. Did you have something that you wanted to say, Tanache? I just see that you're unmuted. Maybe you already. Oh, heard. it's because my my mute's on my microphone. Oh, okay, um, that would do it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I I can. I'll chime in and just say like I I I really want to second what uh, John is saying about just being introduced to like the verbiage, um, <laughs> and being familiar with the vocabulary. Um, 
has been like super valuable. Just like, like there, I had a scenario this week at, uh, at work, um, where we were talking about how to work on a project simultaneously when something was a live website. And I was kind of like, well, that's like a DevOps term. It's called promoting to from prod to, you know, like, and then like they, we were able to like have a discussion around it, um, where we were able to find like a rudimentary solution. So just like having the words for knowing like what kind of problems are necessary, <laughs> like I'm already a use case. Awesome. I'm delighted to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. Uh, it, it's been kind of, I don't know. It's been ironic for me because I actually started this club and then left the job that I was at that I started the club to, uh, you know, to make that job go better. Um, but now I'm at another place and working with uh, their DevOps quite a bit, um, trying to, like, they actually have all the posit um, products, but aren't using them very effectively. So I've been kind of working with him partly to get things set up better and then to like help other people on the team actually make use of things. So, um, it's definitely been useful <laughs> to have read the book in that regard. Um, all right. So, uh, the other things, let's see. Oh, you did, um, edits on the cheat sheets. I didn't look to see, did you make changes to the content or just kind of the, no, all, like, I, I think basically like, since I, I think I've managed to stay ahead of you all yeah. in terms of the content. <laughs> So I'm basically like completely rewriting the book at this point, but it's a hundred percent for writing quality. Like I, I'm, I'm going through and, and, you know, reordering things and, you know, uh, occasionally adding an example or taking out an example where I think it's too much. Um, but the content is, is I, at least as far as I've gotten through the content is final. <laughs> it's all just writing and making sure the flow of the ideas is right. And, and that sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I, unless, unless I think of something really drastic <laughs> soon, uh, you all have read all of the content, <laughs> just, uh, Excellent. maybe a little less, uh, easily than, <laughs> than I want it to flow. So I guess a question I have is, and, you know, with no ulterior motive at all, uh, how long have you been writing this? Like, how long has this project been uh, for you? almost two years a, a little more than two years actually uh it's taken a long time <laughs> uh we're good. I, I i have a i have a um a deadline in my head though because one of my colleagues is doing a workshop at posit conf that will be like loosely based on this book that's in september there's not enough time to get the book printed for then but uh uh i really want it to be done and like going to print uh by the time that workshop happens so i'm going to finish the book this summer <laughs> my original due date was june 2022 uh, <laughs> my publisher has been very she's been i you know i think uh it's it's uh uh taylor and francis and this is the kind of book that they publish and so a lot of their authors are I, they're all people who have other jobs and so right. i think um They've been happy that there's been sort of continuous progress, even if it's been <laughs> much slower than I originally wanted it to be. Uh, yeah, um, I'm actually uh, about or in the midst of writing a book for them now. So uh, it's good to hear about your uh, planned date versus actual date and how good they are with that. So um, yeah, they were very nice about that. Very cool. Let's see. I'm just trying to scan through of the other things that have changed. I mean, did I, I guess a question for everyone else, has anyone had a chance to really dig into the labs, the new labs? I know you were looking a bit at some of the new stuff to not shape, but oh, no, <laughs> just the beginning of it. It's it. They look great. <laughs> I'll say that much. I, I think I probably will go through them because it's really relevant to some of the stuff I'm working on. Um. Does anyone have anything that uh, wasn't covered? I know um, Tan was going to come in. He had some thoughts on Nginx. I don't know what his thoughts were, but he had 
he has some uh, review for you on that, apparently. So I might make him ping you if he can't make it today. Um, so I'm trying to think if there was anything in these last sections that, you know, like I said, they, they I think they did their job that cool. this whole section was kind of more about getting us ready to talk to people than about like doing things, you know? Um, and I think that went really well. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I expected us to have more to say, but it's been really good. Like it's that's worked cool. really yeah, well. Uh, that's great. I, I, uh, oh, yeah. I think the reason is that it's just a good, good, good book. Like we, I honestly, I don't think I expected more than um, like the great information that we've been given. Like, Thank you. that's very kind. I really appreciate yeah. that. Um, and and most importantly, I think you know, as ours is growing more and more outward, like you know, our our has always been growing like internally as a as a powerhouse for you know whatever, but as R grows outward and starts to, you know, make, starts to shake hands with more uh, parts of computing, like having books like this is just incredibly valuable. Sure. Um, I guess I'll have, I have another uh, process question for you. So I notice that you have um, at least one figure that you just in a recent uh, merge, uh, is really nice. Uh, do you plan to like? Are you making the final versions of the figures, or how yeah, is that working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I've been going. I, yeah. So I I have um, uh, I have an iPad and I use there. There's an app called Designer that lets you sort of like draw in the app. Um, okay. I decided I kind of like the vibe of the like hand drawn but <laughs> digital versions. Uh, I've had to get good at the designer app though, which I'm not a very good artist. So that's been kind of fun. <laughs> um, I debated for a while just doing, um, mermaid diagrams, which are, you know, they're, they're like, you can write code that just does these diagrams. It's pretty cool, but they're not very customized. Like you all, like you can only write the code. And if you don't like the way the code looks, it's sort of like, not too bad. Gotcha. Um, and so I think I've decided that I want to stick with the like hand drawn, but digital versions that are. Um, you know, hopefully we'll look a lot clear, like all of the stuff where it's like my scrawling on, on graph paper <laughs> is getting replaced by digital images, uh, before we go to print. Okay. Uh, for, for a lot of them, I wanted to like get down my thoughts. And so I just drew them on paper, um, with the expectation that I would convert them to digital. Cool. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything else. Oh, go ahead, Gus. For the um, the hand drawn charts are very cute, and because my eyes are functional, they're easy to read. But for people with less functional yeah. eyes, uh, they might be a challenge. And I don't remember what the like alt text situation yeah. is in Corto. And I see you do have some. Just... Yeah, I, adding better alt text is definitely high on the list of things to do. Um, and it that was one of the reasons why I wanted to look into Mermaid, because I think like Mermaid, right, is readable by, um, uh, you know, different kinds of, of tooling for folks who are visually impaired. Um, I disliked what it was doing to my formatting enough that I, I don't think I'm going to go with it, but I, I do plan to do a pass through um to make the alt text much um much clearer um for the most part also the the images are illustrate like there's no new content in any of the visuals um which again is intentional um you know so so my hope is that between what's in the text and the alt text um you know it will be pretty pretty friendly even for folks who have vision issues But yeah, uh, do, so I, do, no. alt text pass is definitely on on my list of things that needs to get done. <laughs> but that's that's like very end kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, is there anything else like um, kind of you know, you have restructured the book 
a couple times. Are there any things that you like? Are you fine with that? Do you wish you had done anything different about, you know, how much of a headache did that cause, basically? <laughs> a lot. I don't know if there's a way around it, though. Like, I, I, I genuinely don't know if I could, like, at least for me, I need to write or talk to, like, structure my ideas. Right. And so, like, I wrote an outline for this book, but it was completely wrong. And it wasn't until <laughs> I started writing that I realized it was completely wrong. Um, and I, I don't know any other way I could have worked. Like, I don't think I just, like, could have known. I, oh, I should have, like, no, I needed to, right. to work to get there. I, in retrospect, the one thing I wish I had done is I wish I had spent less time trying to write introductions and stuff early on. And I wish I had spent more time, like at, at the very beginning, I wish I had spent more time writing the technical chapters because that stuff has stayed similar and I've moved it around a lot, but I haven't had to completely nuke it and start from scratch intros and that kind of stuff I have like two or three times just completely rewritten them and so I definitely wish I'd spent even at the beginning I wish I well I don't know I don't know if I could have done it differently but probably should have spent more time just starting like starting in the middle of the book and not trying to write it from the beginning to the end um but I don't know I'm I'm kind of skeptical if there's yeah. like an easy way to do something like this well that is it's an interesting point because intros or other you know um, like bridge material, that's the the most fragile because if you change the right. order of things, then those pieces don't make sense anymore. Um, so that's a that's a great point to kind of focus on the the meat that you know you can move this section wherever it doesn't really it might have some reference to you know as we saw or something, but um, yeah, that's yeah. a great. That's a good tip. Yeah, I also, <laughs> as I've been going through, I've been I've been trying to do less referencing to order in the book and more explicit references to different chapters and sections, right. because Porto does a really nice job of auto linking those things. And so, whether it's before or after, it doesn't matter if you are doing auto linking. If you say like, "Oh, this is below," then you know. But right, I, all that feels kind of marginal. I think right. it's just you gotta at least for me i'm i'm a slow writer and so i have to write things and rewrite them and rewrite them uh i've yet to find a substitute though i would love to <laughs> cool um let's see what else uh yeah that's the wrong one so um like what what changed the most do you think over the course of this is there anything that like was there was a chapter that you totally like don't it doesn't fit at all anymore or there's a whole section that you weren't even thinking about and now it's you know a section anything like that that comes yeah to I, mean, I think the, the the thing that's changed the most chapter wise is that auth chapter that now is just an appendix i kind of always right. knew that was gonna happen <laughs> um I think the biggest thing that's actually changed, though, was like my original pitch for this book was that the book was for both data scientists and the admins, and that for the admins, it would sort of teach them about the data science side. For the data scientists, it would teach them about the admin side. Turns out that that's <laughs> at least two books, and that also right. like, aren't that interested in learning about data science. And so this is the book I ended up writing. So that that was a pretty big change from like the original pitch I sent to uh, Taylor and Francis was sort of, it was like section one was data scientist to admin and section two was admin to, to data scientist. Um, and that turned out to not work very well. So that was a big change. That's probably the biggest change. That makes sense. Um, and I could see how that would happen, <laughs> you know, like, oh yeah, this totally makes sense. And then you get into writing it. It's like, oh, that that's yeah. That's two totally different stories. Yeah. Um, and, and different and think, audiences and, you know. Yep. And I think you, you know, I think all of our comments have reflected that the way you did it uh, speaks to us. So, you know, yeah. thank you. <laughs> um, right. I'm trying to think what else, you know, like, oh, yeah, we were reading um, the things that are now section two and three when you 
split and reordered and uh, you caught us just in time like yeah. we had read what's now chapter you, yeah we had read chapter 10 and then all the changes happened so we went back to chapter six and like went through that way um was there like how how much um i mean past the decision to kind of change the focus of the book uh how many like, were there other big reorgs like that that happened maybe before? I don't, so like, I don't remember where it was when we started reading it. Um, and how much, you know, how much had it changed? Do you remember if there was anything? I don't really remember. Like I would have to look back at some of the early. Yeah. I think I had four sections that I collapsed down to three. I can't remember what the original four, though, were. <laughs> I uncollapsed it back to four. I'm pretty happy with where it ended up, but yeah. Um, but I I don't, you know, it it definitely like figuring out the ordering and the way to split it up so that it makes the most sense. Um, definitely took a while, and and I think there's a decent possibility that in this sort of final edit I'm doing now, I will end up at least moving <laughs> some things from chapter to chapter. Um, right. I'm definitely organizing a lot within the chapters. Um, just trying to order things so that they flow but uh, it's totally not not impossible that i will end up you know moving something from one chapter to another or i i really i really would like to not write any new chapters so that's i'm <laughs> trying to avoid that uh but we'll see yeah i i can't think of anything that um you know that i wanted that isn't here um Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I that, that was my big question for you all is, is, you know, is there anything missing that you're like, ah, that this book really needed X, Y, Z? I think there was when we started reading. <laughs> and I think some of the reorgs that you've done have covered the things that we were kind of lacking. So, um, yeah, I think that has covered it. I've got it, you know, open over here. So I'm kind of scanning through to remember if there's anything that is... Um, you know but no it's uh it makes sense it, it covers the things that we wanted to cover um and you know like i said i need to do the new labs and see it, how well it um flows in that way because that like the labs were helpful they didn't all exist when we went through <clears throat> um and then you know you the changes make it even more so where it, it is this kind of common idea that you're working through. I like that about it. So yeah, I think the um, I think the labs are much much better than when you all started. <laughs> so uh, thank you for your feedback on them because I think they uh, uh, I think I think they're actually much more useful and interesting now than they were um, when you all got in there. Um, yeah, I, so, I will say for myself, um, you know, when I when I really, <clears throat> excuse me, started this journey, I was, um, you know, looking to leave a previous job and deciding whether I would go to like back to academia or industry. I ended up in academia, but like part of that questioning was like, well, how do I go from the job that I have now to actually working with like larger firms? And the question that kept coming up was, you know, how do I, how do I build a portfolio of like demonstrating that I know what I'm talking about um, sure. in data science when that wasn't just, that wasn't a thing that was, that felt accessible to me um, mm. because it's like, you know, set up on Azure and it's like, well, I don't, I, I don't know how to do that. Why, why would I ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> um but so like the labs themselves just being able to say like we're gonna build a small version of like what a real company does and you can do it on your tiny machine and you know have it running for a month and it'll cost you less than an arm and a leg like <laughs> that is extremely valuable extremely valuable for my uh for my use case and for people awesome i'm super glad to hear that you know i think uh um yeah i think I, I think that's that's great and you know certainly the the hope here is that you know 
the the labs put up this sort of like and th this is this is the way i i like my work is in general is you know sort of when i'm like building a demo for posit or whatever you know i'm building out stupid toy examples of the actual data science because i'm like i don't really care about what you're doing data right like that's, <laughs> that's not the part i concern myself with it's like the the plumbing right um yeah. and so you know that that was really my goal here is that you get a feel for the plumbing um and and actually for me, in writing the labs i think the biggest challenge was how to keep the sort of actual content that there was enough there that it like made sense but that it was minimal enough that you wouldn't get distracted by like you know shiny app sort of stuff right like that 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 if you you right. could sort of be like oh yeah this is not the book for you to learn shiny but like here's how you would host it um you know if you want to go read hadley's book on mastering shiny it's a great book but i'm not trying to reproduce it here <laughs> um right it felt it felt like that quite literally during every lab it was like we would start a chapter and I'd be like, oh yeah, I know how to use Shiny. I've, I've done Shiny before. But the thing that keeps me from being effective at my job is the fact that I only know how to build Shiny for me. Sure. Um, and now you need it for everybody. And like the lab would directly attack that question and like how to promote your, your budding like skills into something useful. I'm super glad to hear that. <laughs> so with it um, like being echoed in the the um, workshop at PositConf, I guess how much do you think that the online version is likely to um, kind of keep evolving past the print? Do you think that, that it'll be something that you keep updating or... I am think? not planning to do any work on it. <laughs> uh, as part of my contract with Taylor and Francis, I think there is like, there's something in there about doing a like um, a V2 or whatever. Right. So I may do that at some point, um, but I do not intend to do that for a while. And, and to be honest, like just where I am professionally, like I'm not actually doing any of this work day to day anymore, <laughs> right? I, I manage a team of 18 people. So right. I'm not, so this is all like writing down stuff I learned previously. And like, I suspect that, I mean, like writing this book has been 85% of the technical work I've been doing in the last year and a half. Um, <laughs> and so I suspect that the like by the time it comes time to write a follow-up or you know do an update like I suspect my skills will be out of date and I will <laughs> not be the right person to write that you know to 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 do any of the updates you know I think a lot of what's here is sort of timeless you know like it's like oh networking right. not changed much since the mid-60s you know but if if in five or 10 years, there's, you know, a lot more about, you know, I would, I have to assume that like, it will get way easier to do all this networking stuff. Uh, in the course of, of writing the book, I discovered, uh, you know, I don't know if you all detected my joy at CertBot, which makes it super easy. <laughs> yes. to certificates, which like, when I, when I last had to, like, because of my role, I don't do self-signing much, but like, when I last did self-signed certificates, like it was literally self-signed. It was pain in the ass. And like discovering <laughs> CertBot was amazing. Um, I imagine another handful of years, there will be other things like that, where it's just like things that like the, the conceptual understanding will be the same, but there will right. be much more like automated ways to pull these things off. And so like, you wouldn't recommend that anybody, right? Like in the book, I don't recommend that you like sign your own cert and use your own certificate authority. And all. Like you can still do that, but I'm not going to recommend you do it because it sucks. <laughs> um, and I imagine there will be more things like that in the coming years where the conceptual underpinnings will be the same but like if you were doing it yourself you're not going to diy as much of it you'll like you know right. use some sort of service or there will be some tool that does steps one through four for you and so you just sort of concatenate that all into one step and then you know go from there um so i am not planning to work on it at all for hmm. a while uh Fair but there will be a version two at some point okay maybe not by me <laughs> so does anyone have any other questions again you know either you for us or us for you 
No, I mean, I, I think this is great. You know, I mean, again, if, if you all are, if you think of things that you're like, ah, you know what, you really should mention something about this in there. You know, you all have given me a ton of really valuable feedback. Um, I've added a bunch of sections that I think are really important in the book that that were a result of, of your feedback. So I just want to say thank you. It's been, um, you know, it's it's been intimidating to have folks reading this book uh, <laughs> behind my work, but but you've you've given me really, really valuable feedback and I, I really appreciate it. So thank you all. Yeah, well, thank you for, you know, being open to uh, have us do this club this way and, you know, for um, responding so strongly to it of, oh, crap, I've got to get ahead of these guys. So that was very it's helpful. A good incentive. It's been a yeah. good incentive. I figured it probably was. Um, yeah, it's been it's been great. Uh, I I like that. You know, like I said, we almost ran into an issue in that one section, but that was it, and and it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, it's been really nice that we've been able to, uh, you know, make it through the book because I know, like, you know, I when I contacted you about it, I was like, hey, it's not done. How active are you working on it? Because we want to read it. Um, and so it's been really interesting to see it, you know, come together. Um, so thank you for that. We yeah. may like, you know, I'm, uh, the way the book clubs work for our 4DS is if people sign up for this and someone volunteers to facilitate, then we'll have another cohort. Um, there's nothing on the books yet planned for it, but I'll, I'll post the, th the message and see. So we might have another cohort starting um, anytime. Who knows? Um, well, and if, we'll if, if maybe I'll try and beat them to actually finishing the book, that would be yeah uh, exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see the timing on that. But uh, I look forward to uh, this fall seeing the the final version. <laughs> Me both. Yeah. All I, right. I have to admit that I am bored of writing this book. <laughs> <laughs> You're done with it. Yeah, like it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I but yeah. uh, I'm just ready to be work. You know, it's like my yard is here and the weeds are high, and I want to. <laughs> I don't want to write this book, but it's got to get done somehow. Fair enough. Well, good luck. Cool. Uh, thank you. It's coming. It's coming together. So, thank you very Appreciate much. It. All right. Bye. Thank Thanks you so much, Alex. Thank you. <laughs>